Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to use the horizontal water sampler. So let's put it on the counter first. Um, so a couple of different parts that are important. So this right here is called the pin and it's in the channel and that moves back and forth if you pull this sidebar out. And then this is the trigger. So what we want is to get the, the pin up the channel and back here uh, to set the trigger. So how to do that is you pull on this part right here and it goes all the way back and you twist it and then you keep going back and then you press it down with your finger. It's a little tricky with one hand. So that, set, that side is set and then we flip it over and we do the same thing. So now I'll do this side, pull that out, keep pulling and then use your finger to set it. Okay, so now both triggers are set. So next what we'll do is we'll go to the bathtub and um, each of these red lines measures one meter, not this part, but the next one. And there are 20 meters total. So this is our messenger here. So what we do is we hold on to the messenger and we set this into the bathtub. Go down, try to make it straighter so you can see. And then this line needs to be really taut um, which won't be a problem when you actually go outside and put this in the water. And then when we're at the appropriate depth, we just drop, oops, drop the messenger, and that will trigger both ends to close, and we have our water sample. And then in order to get the water out, move the messenger, we just open one side of this, and then we can pour that into our container. And then we repeat. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to actually put the sampler in the water and collect your water sample. So be sure to keep your messenger in your left hand and you'll have your sampler in your right hand. Um, you can do this with one person. It's a little easier with two, but I'll show you how to do it with one. So you have all of your rope right here um, and it's good to have the amount of rope that you already need ready to go. So our messenger is already open. So I'm going to drop it over the side and again make sure you keep your your messenger in your hand, don't release that yet. I'm gonna just drop it down. And again, each of the red marks is one meter, so you know how far down you can put it. And this pier is about um, two meters down. So we release it however far down we want it to go. And let's say that is good. There's a little bit of drift here. So we want the messenger, or we want the rope to be really hot so we can um, let go of the messenger and hopefully it works. So I'm going to let go. And then you should feel a tug when it actually works. And it didn't. 